Okay, this form is a Qigong form. Um, so the first form uh, should be done slow. Um, you can review your stances. And, um, and then there's one basic strike. Okay, and I'll explain that strike when we get to it. So um, it's a real basic form. Um, it'll also uh, uh, work on your, your, your muscles, your stomach muscle strength. And this will be really good just for martial arts altogether. Uh, because, you know, the, the Chinese have this uh, theory of Qigong is supposed to be like a, a, a mystical force, like an energy force in your stomach. And, you know, when you see those Chinese movies where they do some strike and blue fire comes out, that's supposed to be Qigong. But actually, that's not true. What it is is the stomach muscle. The stomach muscle by doctors is the most important muscle in your body. So um, every muscle in your body is connected to your stomach muscle. So if you throw a punch, you'll do you know as much damage as you have strength or maybe body movement in that strike. However, if you use your stomach muscle with it, like for instance doing a kia, you'll actually connect your stomach muscles, which will help to give power to your arm. It's the truth. Um, I could do a long explanation, but it's probably not worth it if you just trust me on that, because I'm going to run out of disk space. So, um, so that's what this really this form focuses on: is breathing, stances, basic. Um, and then your, your stomach muscle, okay? So first I'm gonna go over the bow. The bow will be the first thing. So I'll go over the hand movements first. So the hand movements are gonna start out in Yubei. Yubei will have the, uh, the fan kind of in a, in like a neutral ready position. Remember that a fan should have uh, little knives. A metal fan would have little knives at the end. So when you do a strike, you're actually ripping those knives on somebody. And what we're doing is putting those knives away, okay? Your right hand will be in a fist at your waist. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hand up, back of the hand out, back to my shoulder in a circular motion, push out, and then bring my hand over to the left side. Okay? From there, I'm going to start to swing it out, and my left hand will come out at the same uh, kind of distance, and then we'll swing around in big motions, coming back to this shoulder, and my right hand coming back to the back. And then, what I'll do is I'll bring my left hand down, this hand will come to my shoulder, and this will be the actual bow. Now normally the bow would be like this, okay? But we have the fan in our hands, so um, this is considered the bow if you have a weapon. Okay. Then, uh, when you come back to ready stance, your hand's gonna go down in a circle, out, and back into ready. And your left hand will just stay where it is. So again, that's from here. You're gonna come down, up, out, and back, ready. So the whole bow without the footwork will look like this. Go back to shoulder, out, left shoulder, around, right hand in a bow with your right hand, and then down in a big circle, and back to ready. And uh, the footwork will be very simple. You're going to bring your left foot out into a punch way, um, whereas uh, maybe 70% of your weight is on your front leg, 30% is on your back, okay? And then you're gonna shift the, the remaining 30% over to your front leg and touch your toe to the ground in front of you, okay? And then you'll bring your foot back and you'll begin to move your weight back and then push off and you're back into it. So together with the hands, you're going to start out with your hands coming back to your shoulder, out, over, and then when you start to swing around, by the time you get around into your, into your, uh, you with your right hand, you're already in your stand, 70% of your weight in the front, then you're going to bring your hand back and bow, okay? And then as you're coming down, stepping around, come together so that your feet and your hands come together at the same time. Once again, the full bow will look like this. Out, over, around in the pantwe. Shibu stance for the bow. Coming back, circle around, back into the bend. Okay, that's the bow. <clears throat> now when we're done with the bow, we got to start focusing on breathing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is step down into a mabu stance, which is a war stance. Your heels should be out, your toes should be in as possible, and it should be as low as possible because uh, this will help to strengthen your legs, okay? Practice uh, strengthening your legs. And what you're going to do, the first thing is let all of your air out, okay? Then you're going to bring your air in through your nose. Then you're going to push all your air compacted down together, and then push out. Okay, like you're pushing against the wall. And when you get about 80% of the way, 90% of the way, the last 10% will be a strike, and you'll in Kia. Okay, and then you'll come back in, 
Pull your lungs up as large as possible. Push down and then begin to push. Like you're pushing in something 90% of the way. Kick. And then when you come up this time, you can make a big breath and right about here, maybe about 90% uh, of the way, you're going to do a quick motion which will put the fan into your right hand and your left hand will be here in, in front. Push down on your air, turn in your stance, and begin to push out. 90% of the way, here. Then start to bring your air back into Mabu. Push down, turn, push out. 90% of the way, last 10%, here. And then bring your air back. Push down, and you're gonna leave your, your stance here because before we we're, in, now we're in a Kung Fu stance for the strike. And then here, we're gonna be in a Pu Choi stance, which is kind of like Kung Fu, but where our shoulders are facing that way. So we're gonna come out at about 70% of the way, or 80% of the way, we're gonna stop with the fan drop down from across the face, switch the stance into Pu Choi, and strike with the Kia. Okay, and then there'll be a short bow where we're going to bring the fan back around to our hand, and then we're going to get into a ready stance just like we were earlier, except we're starting from a foot way. And as we bring our feet around, we're going to stop in your in your shibu stance, which is like your cat stance uh, here, and then bow. And then we'll come back into pantwe just like we did in the original bow, and then feet together and you're back in your ready position. So, um, just a quick word about the strikes. When you do this first strike here, bring it around your head, and as you strike out, what I'm doing is I'm putting my, my pinky on the end of the fan here to make sure the fan doesn't go anywhere. Otherwise, if you strike, for instance, like, like uh, an understrike, the, you know, the fan will kind of do whatever it's gonna do. So what we're gonna do is control the fan, Okay, so that we put our pinky there on the end to make sure that it stays open when we want to. And even when we do a strike this way, just to make sure that it stays there, because you never know. Okay. And um, another quick word for the changes when you're here. It's a very fast change to go into your upper stance. And then at the very end, strike, come back here, and it's going to be in that same ready position, and then you do your bow, and you're done.